sometimes you're going to have a teacher that comes in and they're only thing that they really want to do here and take away from here is seeing the mansion and other teachers say you know it meant everything to me to go on a slave-like tour and learn more about the history of the enslaved community and then still others say you know I just really wanted to do a hands-on workshop and walk away with these materials that I know I can just translate right into my classroom. Oftentimes the group leader will have different expectations than the group members themselves. And so the way that I try to mitigate that is I try to put something in the schedule for the summer. Ever. And you know one of the things that we've been talking about a whole lot is you know when you go into these places every single thing that's there you know it's all there for a reason. And someone has thought about, you know, even the direction that it will be placed on the thing and what is next to it and, and why it's there. And every single one of those objects is supposed to, you know, sort of tell you a whole story about something. One thing I found kind of a little bit hard was the, uh, the shaving kit, mm -hmm. the actual little brush that you can actually people use to put the shaving cream on their face. Uh -huh. what, what I'm going to give you this afternoon is um, our internal memo that kind of goes through all the highlights of what's actually there and some of the decision-making processes that the curators used mm -hmm. to get stuff back. And so, yeah, the shaving kit, um, you know, is based upon a period shaving kit. It's really not enough to just say, this is what history was. You really have to ask people, kids, to really think about it and draw their own conclusions and take their own interpretations and that the process of evaluating different sources and different places really leads them to a much deeper, richer understanding of history that really stays with you and gives you, you know, things that you can actually work with in everyday life.